Well guys, it's the next afternoon. Um, today we're going to be demoing a brand new Bobcat from the uh, dealership here. Dealership of mainly John Deere, but they've got versatile, they've got some case, but I think those are just used that were traded on John Deere's, like they should be. Um, <laughs> anyways, so we got the bale spear on here and we got the full Bobcat. Five, uh, 590 skids here. Uh, I think it's got 600 pounds on each side of weights, so good for weighing it down and everything with these big bales we're having here. There we go. Where are you? Um. So yeah, um, and there apparently is some place I've got to check out here. I think it's like down here. I don't know. Somebody was telling me about it. I don't really remember all they said. It may have to do with an auction or something. Which I may be interested in. I don't know. Turn on our blinkers here. So right now we've only got ten thousand dollars. I mean, unless we take out a loan, that's the only option we have. We can't really buy anything. Oh wow, they get it's a little it's a little auction there. I think what they said was a guy wanted upgrade equipment for his son, which his son was gonna start farming for him, but his son wanted newer equipment. I don't see anything wrong with some of this equipment. That gleaner is pretty new. But something I do have my eyes on here. This Alan this Alice Trummer 870. This does look like a really nice tractor. I don't know. Apparently the auction was kinda already over. They'd sold a lot of the equipment already. So the prices are a lot lower than they were at the auction now. I mean, you could have picked it up cheaper if you wanted to, but some of the stuff went, um, they wanted too much money at the starting bid, so. Brent, J&M grain carts. Some of this stuff, honestly, this is honestly like the best starting setups here for, for uh, crop tillage and everything, but if you look in the top right hand corner there, we've only got $10,000, so. I, I just... This tractor wouldn't be the 4960 wouldn't also would also be a pretty good buy too, but I don't I'm, I already have an international. I don't need the cab, I don't think it's fine. Now this would be a nice setup for haying here. It's the rake that our rake's better, we've got that rotary rake, so front frontier has a bit of John Deere rake there. Um ninety five ten. I don't think but I don't think I'm interested in that, but I'm interested in this. Maybe one of these this drill. I don't know. This head is gonna be sitting here for a while, so if you guys have any ideas what we should buy starting out, if you would think there's anything to buy, leave it in the comments. But I think I'm gonna go ask about this tractor here, the eight seventy Alice back to you in a minute. I think the guy is down the road a ways, so um, let me go talk to him and I'll be right back. So, this tractor apparently has about 5,000 hours, some 537, I don't know, like 5,307. So, we kind of decided, he said, if you want it, 25,000. We negotiated it, I got it down to 20,000. It's the lowest he said you would go. Um, and yeah, so let's talk to him about this. This thing would cost like a, about 100, not interested. This, the rake here, he, he said he'd practically just give it to me really. It's, he said he'd give it, I could buy it for about five. It's, that is a really good deal for this kind of rake here. So, and now this total is 25000 which we have to go talk to the bank really quick, but I think we'll be able to get the loan for the tractor and that rake down there. 
you said they sold quite a few of the tractors. They're a lot older and stuff, but these didn't sell like he thought they would. Which I'm surprised, especially the 8130 in this tractor. I don't understand why these two didn't sell. Like, but the reason was because of the fact that uh, um, they just started out the price too high, and he would he regretted. But anyways, so I think we're gonna go home. Um, move some bales, and I think and then we'll hawk up from the pickup and they see it for before the bank closes this evening, and we'll go uh, talk to the bank, see what they've got to say. I'd even start with the drill because that'd be a lot more money, and I we don't need a drill yet. So, yeah, head down the road like this, just like that. Alrighty. So, yeah, but. If anything, I just need. I want to buy, find a used skid steer, or a wheel loader or something. I don't know. I really don't care what it is, as long as it's not something Russian or something. Wheel loader would probably be best for our situation here. So, um, that's how nice to farm there. Like I said, I don't think we'll get into crop farming at this time and moment. Um, so, yeah. Alright, I'll talk to you guys here in a minute. When we get to the, uh, at least our neighbor's farm here. Because we're not going to the neighbor, we're going to drop the skids here off, and I think I'm just going to go to the bank now. That's what I think we're going to do, because I think that's just probably the best choice to do. Oh, dude, this is going to be awesome if we get that tractor. That will be a great tractor to have on the farm here. I don't know. I feel like if we had, if we could start out, I kind of want to just get big and have some money for the, from the hang we're doing, you know. So. Uh, let's see here. Alright, um. I think we'll just leave this on the trailer and I'll take it over there because this thing, which gets your slow. Alright. Alright. Well, I'm gonna take this, the K30 over there. So I need to get it painted. I need to find some that would. I don't know. I don't know yet. Well, I'll talk to you guys here in a bit. So we're pulling in the bank here, Wells Fargo banking, as what we're gonna um, hop out of the truck here, turn it off. Um, I'm gonna go talk to the banker. So the banker is talking to me about my expenses. So far, we've been doing good. He said 25,000, 25, he could do it, but it'll be on a long shot. Um, I told him we could pay it back pretty darn quick, so I think we're going to borrow twenty-five thousand dollars here. Fifty, it'll be fifteen, but I'm we're gonna borrow twenty-five thousand dollars to make us have thirty-five thousand dollars. So I think what we're gonna go do is head down there. The guy is actually right down the road here. That is the owner of the auction and all the equipment there so I think we're gonna go talk to him real quick um, he just he just put his equipment down there and his post speech land out in the country out of the way of everything so it wasn't be a lot of commotion so yeah uh, for dealership that's cool um, it's a, he still has a little bit of equipment but this is equipment his son wanted to keep back from the auction. So. There's a potato. They bought. His, his son kind of got a really good deal on this, apparently, is what he told me. See, they've got a 6200 here, and they've got a big old nice three, uh, three section cultivator, but. 
I think he said there's something wrong with the wheel or something. Wheels on it. But he's still going to keep those. So I'm going to go talk to him real quickly, and I'll be right back. Alrighty, guys. So I just got done talking to him, and what he said is... That's... The, it's a deal. I just got to pick it up, and we'll pay him... Um, I'll pay him th this evening when I get on my computer and I'll transfer my money. Cause this is all on my bank, and I can bank do all that kind of money on my computer there. So um, that's twenty-five thousand dollars gone, but we still have twenty-five thousand. We still be if we have ten thousand. So. I'm just gonna hook up the rake real quickly and take it down there, take it down to our farm. And I may actually think about getting rid of our really expensive rake, cause that's that rake has actually been while I was raking that one video um, that I guess I the vlog and everything on. Um, I actually had quite a few teeth on the rake, you know, that come off, and then also the PTO shaft the grease starts blowing everywhere and I figured out I blew a gearbox so it's just sitting down there at the field I think I, I, I went ahead and finished it up everything but the truth is uh, I'm not a big fan of the rotary rakes at this moment and I don't think I'm gonna pull it with this because this thing is having issues pulling it as you can see yeah alright well let's just get the tractor I guess and I'll just take the tractor home I think what I'm gonna do um did I end up talking about this 4960? Way more money. I'm not even going to say it. I think he wanted like 50 grand for it. He said there's only like 2,000 hours on it. That's, that's not a good deal. I mean, it's a good tractor with that many hours. Yeah, it's good, but not good enough. Lower the price down like 10 grand, and I may be interested in the future. He said that that uh, planter actually did the drill and that planter just sold and that guy is also gonna probably gonna buy that ripper fizz too that case 870 ripper which I will never I probably won't be interested in that in a long time it'd be a long drive down there but we'll get her done talk to you guys when we get down there I don't know if you saw. I don't. I don't think I'm gonna show the time lapse. I'm not nowhere even close to being done. I'm having some serious difficulties with this trailer and loading these bales. Um, that I think I'm at the buy one. Um, I really hate doing it. Um, but it's just you know how it has to be. So I don't know. They're so expensive. That's the thing. I mean, there's quite a few nice ones out here, but all right, um, eighteen thousand. I mean, what are you gonna do? You're gonna. It's just something that's gonna have to happen, you know. I'm going to put this up here just for now. I think I'm just going to haul this down there on this trailer just for right now. I'm going to sell this really quickly. I think this should bring quite a bit of money. Just, even on my horrible stacking job. See, it, it just wouldn't let me stack, right? They, they're locked on. That's the good thing. Um, <laughs> sell points. Let's see what we got here for sell points. Um... Grass. So it looks like the best place to sell on pretty much everything at the moment is the cattle feed, which I don't know where this is at. Oh, that is a long way to lay. Um, how about this one out here? I mean, not too bad, is it? Oh, the horse range is right down the road, isn't it? I think I'll just go to the horse range. It's just closed for me. Yeah, you're not going to get your best, remove the most money, but you, you beggars can't be choosers, you know? It's life. 
So I think I'm gonna haul this down there myself, and I will pick up the goose, goose neck trailer and bring it down here. I know it's kind of been a confusing video and kind of fast and everything, but it's just kind of how it has to be. Um, stop. Um, I just been so busy lately. I forgot to mention to you guys. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna have an Instagram. I'll put the link to it in the description just just for this YouTube thing and. I'm showing you guys what I'm doing behind the scenes, aka farming in real life. Um, I think I'm gonna start posting on there. Um, um, so many things I've got to post on there. Um, so yeah, well, we need to go down this way, don't we? Um, hopefully, we'll get a decent amount of money for this. I th hopefully, I'm hoping. A couple thousand. I don't know. The price looked like it. Yeah, it's staying in the same spot. So. Um. Uh, do 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 do. I don't think I'm gonna put that. I wasn't gonna do a time lapse. I'll do two minute time lapse in this better trailer that'll hopefully do these bales a lot better. But. Horse Ranch. This is it, and this is it. I think this whole part's of the ranch, but I think this is the main part of the ranch here. Yeah, this is definitely the ranch. Um, small ranch. Okay. This it? Oh no. There we go. Alright, so what do we get on total bale sales here? Sold bales three thousand. Okay, that's a good that's honestly pretty good. Um so the thing I'm gonna do is just get all the bales and everything ready so I can do that quick time lapse here. Get the trailer down there, and I'm gonna think I'm gonna do the time lapse. So, I will see you guys at the end of the time lapse.
So that should be that load loaded up there. I don't. It could be better, but it's pretty good for farm sim stacking. But I'm gonna do something different now. I'm gonna take the 7810 and go some mo some more hay. I think. I think that's probably the best option for now. Um. So yeah, I think we're gonna go most more hay. I think we're just gonna do it up around here now. Open this field up, and I think after that, um, next episode, I think we'll open finish up that last field uh, over there. Um, check here. Check. Yeah, we do. We own this field here. So, get her down mowing. Start mowing. Um, so yeah, get it started up here. Um, get around the outside around here. Not too worried about getting up real close to everything. Just make it as easy as possible. Um, may honestly just do this whole field and do time lapse part of it. Um. Hope you guys are enjoying these videos, even though I haven't posted very much. I've only posted what must be the second episode. The second, the, the first second episode I had planned was me raking and bailing, but the files crashed. Um, so I, I, I don't know. I don't know what happened to the files. I don't know if they crashed or what. But hopefully, this won't happen to this one. I don't think it will. I pretty probably I know it won't. So. But, so yeah. Boy, I don't time lapse this again. I don't know. I do a lot of time lapses. I don't want to make you guys sit through all this stuff here. Um. So I think we'll get quite a bit of ram bells just off this little field here. As many we just got out round for the outside rounds of that little field down there. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. I think I'm just gonna time out this guy, I'll see you guys in a minute.